Our job here is to film uh, a group of uh, 34 orangutans over a period of 10 months to film what, what they are doing every day, their life, the challenges of uh, finding this new habitat for them. So usually um, we start uh, in the morning at uh, 6.30 and we arrive at the island at uh, about 7.00. And before the, the technicians come with the food, we try to, to get some shots of the orangutans in the forest. But usually they have a quad and they are always waiting for the food, so they don't do very much. But of course at the feeding platform, it's the time when they all come together. And it's a good, also a good opportunity for us to, to get all the interactions, you know, uh, those who are friends or enemies and everything happening around the food. Do they fight for the food? Uh, uh, this kind of thing. Uh, the, the best time is after the feeding, the, the, the bonding feeding. Then they have eaten, they, they feel happy, so they start playing in the forest and uh, playing in the water, you know, breaking branches. And so it's, it's uh, the, the time where we have the better opportunities to get a nice shot. So uh, it's difficult to follow each one, so we try to, to go somewhere and see what, what they do around us. Usually they come with us, which is not uh, what we want, but there is no way to, you know, to push them away. And after a while we settle, we, you know, we try not to do too much. The, the few hours later they, you know, they, they, they forget us and they start doing the, the business, like uh, you know, looking for insects in the forest or eating leaves and uh, playing. And uh, the orangutans are used to people because before being here, they were in the re rehabilitation center. So they, they always come close, too close, because it would be easier if they were a bit uh, wilder. But they always, uh, around us, they always try to, to, to take something from the camera, look in the lens, and put their dirty finger on the, on the filter. So it's always a problem. So when we are filming, well, we always have to be careful that there is no dirt on the, on the filter. That's uh, very often the case. So our, our job is to follow the orangutans, uh, you know, everywhere in the forest. So we have to carry the equipment uh, with us and follow the orangutans. So it's quite difficult to walk, it's very swampy. This, uh, this area is a small island and uh, there's a lot of forest. You know, it's uh, all covered with forest and especially rotan. So it's very difficult to find a way. For orangutans it's easier because they go over the trees. But for us we have to go under and uh, it's where we get stuck by uh, by the, the rotan uh, and also uh, the mud. During the, the rainy season, there is a lot of mud. So we can, sometimes we cannot uh, follow them everywhere they go because the, the water is too high. In the beginning of the filming, we, are, we have the idea to, to make platforms. But of course, if we make a platform with wood, um, you know, it's, it's not uh, movable. And sometimes we make a platform and the, the orangutans decide to, to, to play somewhere, somewhere else. So usually the platforms are not very productive. It's why we had this idea of uh, using a big uh, ladder and make a support where we can sit and put the camera on the tripod head so we can move around, even if it is not always easy to carry it around, but it's easier than making a platform every time we need to shoot them. It's fast. First, uh, there was no seat, so it was a bit hard for me to sit for hours. So he, made the, he found a Vespa seat, which is more comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, we call it the leather cam. <laughs> it's not patented yet. 